Hey guys, this is FGI here and today we'll be continuing on with the tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Now if you're new, you can view this uh, tutorial, you know, because I was supposed to um, make a video of this one a little bit earlier around tutorial 2 or 1, yeah, tutorial 2 on how to um, make your scene a little more lively but since we're at this point and you know the, the scene is looking a little bit uh, scanty I would say we're gonna actually import and put some on uh, other 3d models in here you know make the game look a little more, more game like yeah but I would still recommend you go and uh, view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll be or you'll feel more in control of what you're doing you know Anyways, um, what you're gonna want to do is check for the link in the description below. Download the package there, and you will get this folder after you import it into your project. Now, just open this up, and you'll notice the tutorial assets. You open it up, you'll notice you got 3D models in here, which I promised you guys from the previous tutorials. Yeah, they're all here. You're mostly welcome. Um, yeah, now these models here, I would say all of them, uh, we're going to be using for the, um, or you should use, I'd recommend you use these models here for the um, basic city and use these for the, um, you know, this scene that we're on right now because I honestly don't think it's very sensible to have a school bus on a scene like this it's not realistic at all it's, it, it doesn't really make much sense but anyways it's all up to you you can use the models however I'm just giving out some random ideas you know anyways yeah you see I added some containers and so forth here now I'm gonna show you guys something that you need to um, know now if we go to the crates and barrels go down open this folder up and you'll go down to the container just take the container drag it in there that's how you add the models so for any of the models from this folder or this folder you do the same thing just look for the model it's going to usually be blue you know this blue prefab here and you just drag it in to your scene after you've done there what you're going to want to do is add a collider to this now you notice that this is one object alone it doesn't have anything else parented to it so what we'll need to do is just add the collider to this object if it had uh, if this was parented to another object you know well then you will need to open up the object and then select this object here and put the collider to it I'm gonna show you guys in a bit what I'm talking about just go down here after you select the container and or whatever model at component you go to physics and box collider what this basically does it allows your player not to collide or pass through the object once an object has a collider and it's not it's triggered the player will not be able or whatever like the enemy or so forth will not be able to pass through the object yeah um if you check this out, I'm just going to disable the box collider and show you guys what I'm talking about. If we hit play and we... Um, oh boy. I think it's somewhere at the back here. I'm not too sure. Right around this corner. I uh, hope I make it in time. No, I'm not going to make it in time. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just position the player a little bit more closer to the containers so when we you know hit play it'll be right there some good stuff so we'll hit play now and you'll notice that the uh, player will be able to walk through the object this is the container here that doesn't have the collide and we just walk through it and that's not very realistic so what we'll need to do is just Add the box collider to the object, and that would allow the player not to collide with the object, pass through it. So we enable the box collider and we hit play. You'll notice that whenever he reaches close to the um, 
the container you can't go through it anymore the reason why the gun in the hand is going through it is because the weapon and so forth doesn't have a collider but the character control the first person controller cannot go through the object so that's what we're looking for yeah it's a good stuff now um, I'm going to show you guys what I meant when I said ensure that if the object that you're importing to your scene has been parented to another object you'll need to add the collider to the object inside so I'm going to show you guys just go to the basic city and open that up this is ba these are the basics you know yeah so we'll go here in the tutorial 7 and um, go down to the three modes and we'll select the gas station one and just drop it in there now I'm gonna explain something for you guys pretty quickly it's pretty simple as well alright now if we add the box collider to this object or any collider of any kind to this object and we hit play as we seen in the previous uh, previously we weren't able to walk through the object but you'll notice here if you you know try to like go through the object you will be able to go through it that's basically because you didn't really set the box collider to um, anything really this is basically an empty game object and you just have all of the the objects that make up this gas station inside of it so what you'll need to do is select these stuff here so you'll just go select this first one and just hold down shift and select all of them and we'll go add component physics and if we add a box collider you see what happens here now this is a gas station this year as we as a player we should actually be able to walk through here but if you hit play you'll notice that it's not possible for us to actually walk through you know and that's not really realistic you know So we try to walk through it. We can't. That's because it has a box collider attached to everything. So what I mean when I say everything, this is an object by itself, as you can see here, it has a box collider attached to it. This is an object by itself, it has a box collider attached to it. That's an object by itself, it has a box collider attached to it. And the box collider basically stretches from here to the end so basically we have three of this here if we have three of this it's gonna have three box colliders so that's not really what we want so we'll just select drag all these and um, remove the box collider and what we're gonna do we're gonna add something called a mesh collider and what this does it actually makes a mesh it places a mesh over the object instead of placing a box so if we hit play now you'll notice that you won't be able to pass through the walls of the gas station and so forth but what we can do we can actually walk straight through this in this pathway here you know? but if we try to walk through this you can't that's basically what the mesh collider does. It adds a mesh collider to whatever the object is instead of adding a box on it. So if you have, let's say, a feather and you add a box collider to a feather, it's not going to actually cover the feather alone. It's going to be measured with the Y and the X axis, you know, and the Z axis as well. So yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys uh, I hope you guys like it and uh, do know that I do not own any of these models I just saw them online for free and I just decided you know, to download them and just 
make a fold and put them inside for you guys make it more simpler rather than you guys just going out there and search for these stuff all by yourself so yeah um, the only thing that I did was basically the city you know the houses and so forth you can see the textures it's just a texture on a cube and pathway and pictures on the terrain and so forth that's what I did but these models that I've given you guys here today you know I don't own them they're for free I just found them and just decided to just give it to you guys yeah so if you like this video just give me a thumbs up and um, got any problems comment below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple 3d menu using a 3d text you know? yeah so you can get the main menu you know so you can, when you start the game you have a menu you click start and then it starts the game so yeah that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys in the next tutorial so yeah uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time until then continue making games peace